Hi, it's actually Binder Sudgen. I um, just wanted to ask, uh, with three more uh, countries added to the federal list of banned flights, um, just, do you have an idea of how many more people might be in B.C. and need to be tested or isolated? And just can you give us a sense of, uh, Dr. Henry, like how likely is it that we will have more cases with this variant and how concerned the public should be? Yeah, um, you, you know, I think this is uh, the level of concern is, is at watchful um, level. It is something that we are paying attention to. We're doing additional enhanced surveillance. So I mentioned uh, we do whole genome sequencing of any positive international traveler, and that's how we identified the person who was uh, uh, positive today. Um, and uh, that's uh, there was a, there's a program as well nationally to do uh, random testing of, of vaccinated travelers, and that's how uh, the people were identified in Ontario. And in both these cases, these are people who were traveling to a country that was not initially identified as as having transmission. So these are all things that we're learning over time. Uh, we don't yet know how many additional people were, will be uh, returning travellers to BC from uh, the additional three countries, so Egypt, um, Malawi and, and uh, Nigeria. Um, but we have also been looking at all of the travel related cases that we have and that's so we we have not seen a lot of it i can be we can be confident with the rapid gene whole genome sequencing that we've been doing um, that we're it's not widespread in bc right now uh, what we are seeing is 99.6, I think it is, percent of our cases are the uh, AY, the Delta strains that are AY25, 27, and, and uh, a smattering of uh, 4.2. So we have gone back and looked at that, but having said that, we will continue to watch. Um, so it is inevitable, I believe, that we will see more cases. Um, but what we're not seeing is widespread transmission right now. And that's where the uncertainty lies. Is this, does this strain have a competitive advantage that means it will take over uh, the strains that are circulating now, um, as Delta did from Alpha and, and Beta, and you know, remember earlier on for us, we had um, we had the Alpha and Gamma that were competing with each other, and then eventually both of them were overtaken by uh, uh, by Delta. So those are the things that we'll be watching really carefully over the next few weeks.